Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Twitchy here guys. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing absolutely fantastic today guys and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. And in today's video we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at a flavor of G Fuel that I've not really done a review on since like 2020. So it's been since that year, uh, 2020, since I last reviewed the nemesis tea flavor um this is the third skin of nemesis tea this one's inspired by resident evil 3 if that's any important to you guys but so far well overall it's it's uh it's a nice tub it's it's a lot really dark themed tub <clears throat> I, I, for me to be honest i'm not really I don't really care about tub art, like to be honest, like it's, as long as the flavor is good, that's all I really care about. I'm not like, you know, just, I love G Fuel for the G Fuel itself, like I'm not, I'm not necessarily into all the merchandise and stuff like that, I'm really just in it for the actual G Fuel itself. I love the community and everything like that too, obviously, but for the most part, I'm just here, you know, I, I like just the G Fuel, you know, I'm not really, you know, a collector of the merchandise or anything like that, but. I do like collecting the tubs as I right above me here I have probably about I don't know 50 or something like empty tubs so uh, I do collect empty tubs and full tubs so um but yeah today we're gonna be going ahead and taking a re-review of Nemesis T G Fuel guys um as I said I have not reviewed this flavor since like 2020 so it's it's been quite some time since I actually took you know a deeper look into nemesis tea because um yeah my opinions definitely have changed about it over the years i would say um i wouldn't say it's necessarily as good as i initially thought it was but actually now that i think about it i'm going to go ahead and look above me here and i actually i have one two three one, two, three. Yeah, I have three empty tubs of the OG Nemesis tea from the first skin. And I believe it's from the, oh, it is a Resident Evil 3 uh, skin up there too. I didn't realize that, but um, anyways, it's a Nemesis, uh, that original Nemesis tea skin. And I have three empty tubs of it. So this is my fourth tub of nemesis tea just thought i'd throw that out there today we're going to be using our og green lemon lime shaker cup at least the uh, from the lemon lime collector's box so we're gonna go ahead and dump in a scoop of the re the third reskin of nemesis tea like that even really matters it's pretty much the same nemesis tea from what i know so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it three years later so let's go ahead and screw on the cap gotta make sure she's tight and let's go ahead and shake it up for you guys and uh yeah so here we go <clears throat> so yeah i you know i i typically shake my g fill up for quite a long time to be honest but um, 45 seconds, 30 seconds is usually pretty good. Um, no need for really any, any more than that. You can if you want to, but not too bad. So, um, looks pretty good. So what we're looking at here is, you know, like a reddish, purplish, dark color. You know, it's... It kind of fits the theme of, you know, the whole Resident Evil skin that they got going on here. I would say the bottom color of the tub matches the color of the G Fuel pretty well. If that has if that has any correlation, I don't know, but it, you know, suits the tub art pretty well. Um, I wouldn't say like, you know, this looks like the most eye appealing color. You know, it's very dark and, you know, I don't know if maroon is the word for it for, for, the, for the color, but you know, it, it looks pretty dark and like a really dark purplish red. Um, 
again I'm gonna shake it up for a little for a little bit here um, let's go ahead and give a smell test for nemesis tea I'm definitely um, I haven't really smelt it for some reason since I've had this tub I, I don't really tend to smell my G fuel anymore unless I'm doing a review for it and um, since I got this tub of nemesis tea I didn't really do a review on it so we're gonna go ahead and do it here now so here we go yeah the the lemon profile like if well obviously nemesis tea is a lemon or lemonade iced tea and the lemon is definitely coming through a lot the lemonade profile is coming through a lot in the smell but you get the elements of the tea as well which is very very nice i would say the smell is you know good i mean i feel like a smell of a drink can play a part in you know you know the general enjoyment of a of a beverage you know if it smells good it usually tastes good right but uh you know it smells good it smells fine um smells like you know lemonade iced tea it smells great so let's go ahead and you know what you're probably all here for is the taste so let's go ahead take a swig of nemesis tea and i'll give you guys my analysis on it here we go yeah guys um it's it's truly an amazing flavor it's got you know a good tea taste it's definitely on the sweet side i would say it's definitely on like a sweet tea type you know basis i would say it's definitely on the sweet side for sure it's not like one of those you know i don't know maybe robust teas you know like really like natural tea type flavor it's not really a natural tea i would say it's definitely more of a sweet tea type flavor with you know sweet you know artificial lemonade taste but by no means is it bad it's definitely not bad like it's it's definitely a really good drink but i would say going into drinking nemesis tea you got to think of it as like a sweet tea not like a real natural tea i would say but i you know that's my opinion but I mean, everybody's taste buds could be different, but I would say this definitely tastes more like a, you know, a sweet tea, like sweet lemonade, like a lemonade iced tea, not on the natural side, I would say, but it's definitely got a really good flavor profile and I, and I do really, really enjoy it. Uh, I do drink this one quite a bit. Um, I have this probably a few times a week. Um, I do enjoy drinking it quite often. Um, since I, I my, my uh, options for tubs right now are getting kind of low. Um, I believe I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 tubs on the go right now. For, for me right now, that's kind of low. For a while, like at the beginning of the year, in the last year, I had right around 30 something tubs and now I'm down to 17. I've gotten rid of some. I've sold some, I've, you know, given away some, and I've definitely certainly finished some tubs for sure. So, um, my collection has gone down recently, but I'm, I'm getting more on the way. So that's, that's definitely something to note. Um, but overall nemesis tea guys, I definitely think this is a solid, solid flavor. And I would definitely recommend this to pretty much everybody. If you like, you know, sweet tea and you like lemonade and if you like, you know, lemonade iced tea, excuse me guys, I'm sorry. Um, if you, you know, like those things, I, I believe you will like this flavor a fair amount. But with that being said, considering out of all of the flavors that I've ever had and comparing, you know, trying to think about roughly, you know, what they taste like and how much I actually like them into like my personal likings for G Fuel. Um, going, my rating for this, I'm personally, it's by no means a bad flavor. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this a rating of about 7.8 out of 10 because um, there's, there's a lot of flavors that I drink a lot more than this and that I do really, really enjoy a lot more than this. But by no means is this a bad flavor, don't get me wrong. But this one's not an everyday flavor for me and 
I would say the flavors that I drink every day on a regular basis, at least have once a day or every few days, are more or less 8.5s and above. So with this one giving giving it a 7.8 out of 10, this one's not an everyday one for me, but it, it might be once or twice, three, maybe three times a week, if that. But it's definitely still a delicious flavor, and I would heavily recommend this to you guys, 100%. So, um, I pretty much think that's it for this video, guys. Um, that's all I really wanted to say about this Nemesis Tea flavor, I think. Um, if there's anything that I happen to miss or anything you guys want to, you know, share about this flavor, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much been it, guys. Um, if you guys liked the video, be sure to drop me a like. Leave me a comment down below, guys. Um, I do have a code on Toxic is Poisons coffee shop um i might link the link in the uh, in the description below I, i'll try to remember to do that but make sure to use code twitchy for you know your g fuel samples on this coffee shop um i yeah i will leave the link in the description but definitely go check out the coffee shop that toxic is poison has um they're like two dollars usd a sample um really cheap shipping and um he has like over 90 plus flavors on his coffee shop of various different G Fuel flavors that you can, you know, tr try out and test without having to commit to a full $35 G Fuel tub. So, um, just to note, he also has a new option on his coffee shop where you can pre-order pre G Fuel samples. So, you know, you can go ahead and make your purchase for the flavor for when he like before he receives it and stuff like that so you can guarantee your samples um you know before you know he runs out of samples so um yeah but anyways guys that's been the review for uh nemesis tea flavor guys if you guys did like the video be sure to drop me a like leave me a comment down below make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video adios take care peace